Let's get straight to the point. Yes. This is my new segment. I'm running with it, and I'm flying and soaring in the air, and I want to take everybody with me, so don't forget to comment after the video, but let's get straight to the point, okay? We got it from Atlanta Black Star and Chai, honey, baby. They talking about Kenya saying she heartbroken. She putting baby Brooklyn all out there, beating on a drum. Yes, it's cute. Yes, it's appetizing. But Kenya, you're acting like a damn fool. And I'm coming to you as a mother because I'm concerned. And I've been out there in them streets windmilling with you, fighting everybody, trying to make everybody see you in a very precarious situation. And I'm going to tell you about it. Getting to the title that Atlanta Black Star broke out, and we have Tia Berger, who's breaking the story for them over at Atlanta Black Star. Yes, the title reads, I'm Heartbroken. Kenya Moore posts sweet video of Baby Brooklyn's fans hurt by split. Now, if your true fans, your true followers that follow your every step, your every move, every time you post something to your Instagram, your Twitter, your, I don't know if you got a Facebook, because it seems like you be on Instagram all the time and tweeting, okay? If they were your true followers and they don't have a platform such as mine to lend a helping hand or voice of reasoning, that's what I'm giving you on my platform because I want you to win. And right now you looking like you finna crash and burn, okay? And then you're going to want all this sympathy in hindsight. I ain't giving you sympathy. I'm empowering you. I'm telling you to get up, get out, and make it happen, okay? And baby girl, you are crashing and burning at this time because what I see on the horizon, what most people may not see because they don't have good intentions towards you. They want you to be all lallygagging and going around here posting baby Brooklyn and I don't told you about pedophiles are out there and all these other people that don't mean your baby pictures no good okay they're for you and your enjoyment they ain't really for not us now if you want to show her throughout the years like when she was born I get it when she had her first birthday I get it when she had her second birthday I get it but do like Michael Jackson keep them kids hidden okay you don't see uh, Janet Jackson out there plastering her son every day showing what new accomplishments what new feat he has taken part of no you don't see the queen and um over there in britain they showing their babies all willy-nilly uh-uh the press is catching them meaning the paparazzi the people that come from big big engine machines of advertisement and news capturing events yes they getting them to take the pictures and they are posting them. They ain't, and, and one person in reference that everybody seems to love in some shape, form, or fashion, Beyonce. Do you see her leaking pictures of her babies every day? You turn around on the two. Hell no. Okay. These pictures are staged, meaning posed, and, and somebody's behind the camera taking them. Okay. Events that they've hired a photographer and videographer to do these things for them. They ain't just sitting out there because they know it's crazy, crazy people out here. And they love to do crazy, crazy, crazy things. All right. Now, I'm putting you up on game for a reason. The reason being... Mark is going to get your little black dairy ass, okay? And he's going to take baby Brooklyn, and they're going to ride on into the sunset, and you're going to be left hot and dry. You know why? Because Mark doesn't like the press. Mark says, no, no, no more press. No press on me. No press on my extended family. No press on my baby girl, Brooklyn. And he's going to be in court one day, and he's going to be saying, you Love the attention of social media, and that is fine. But when it comes to my baby girl, she don't need all that. She ain't ready for all that, okay? And I'm going to be right there with him because I told you from day one, stop posting all these pictures of baby girl Brooklyn. It's like you living your life through her, and that's not right. And I had several people come to me in my comments telling me, you know, why are you doing all of this with this baby girl? Okay, she is your world, I understand. But guess what? God giveth, God taketh away. All right, don't praise Brooklyn like you're doing her. She's not an inimitable object. She ain't something to be toyed with. She is your baby girl. You're supposed to be teaching her, grooming her beside, behind the scenes. Okay, girl, make your life your life. Don't make it in public. you showing everything you're doing for Brooklyn because you're putting it on show for everybody. So how can I think that's being genuine? 
You don't see me posting my baby girl, and I'm telling you, she is war war winning. When she, you know, she still is a war winning, but when she was a baby girl, I get uh, people telling me all the time, is she doing commercials? Is she doing no? Because I don't want that for her. All right. Now she gets on up, and she thinks she wants to do this because in society they want you to look a certain way, and that's more, you know, degradation of someone's spirit, their their soul, their. Uh, being of who they are. If they can't look up to the part, they go having surgeries. And surgery, I'm telling you, anytime you go on the night, that's a 50 50 chance you ain't coming out. You know what I'm saying? So it's just too much pressure society and the lawmakers are making on individuals today. That's why their uh, lineage is not that long. You got them committing suicide here and there because the pressures of trying to be who their parents want them to be and they can't stack up to that expectation. You understand what I'm saying? And then they go to school, school bombarding them with so many different tests and if you don't score this, you're not worth this. You know what I'm saying? It's always a gauge that society is putting us to to level up to. And sometimes we all fall short. And that in the Bible, we all fall short by the grace of God. You know what I'm saying? We all fall short, but the Lord recognizes that. And he uplifts the people that wants to follow him. You know what I'm saying? Get into it, people. I am so tired of the foolery and the fuckery going on in these streets. And how people are living life with no soul, no humanity for another uh, a human being, no love expressed. So, Kenya, if you get anything out of my videos, get that I'm there for you in love by Jesus Christ. And when you do these things, it's not acceptable. And that's why I'm saying most of your followers need to be up there trying to tell you, don't do this with your baby girl. Don't put her out on social media. But I'm going to get into the story or what I got from Atlanta Black Star. I just had to get y'all opinion on the situation. Then y'all can get in them comments and tell me what y'all think about it. Okay, but it says, again, Tia Burger wrote the story. She said, I'm heartbroken. Can you more post sweet video of baby Brooklyn's fans hurt by split? She goes in to say, it looks like Kenya Moore supporters are taking her split with extreme Husband, Mark Daly, pretty hard. This couple called it quits this week, and fans seem shattered, especially since they share infant daughter Brooklyn Doris Daly together. Thursday afternoon, a sweet video on Moore's 10-month-old daughter was published to the child's Instagram page. See, that's another thing. I don't know what these celebrities got putting, you know, uh, see, that, 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 and that, that's a thing that could come for pornography. You got one set. Uh, of an Instagram page for your baby. For everybody to come partake, steal pictures, do it go on God the things possible to them pictures and their thoughts are just running rapid. Y'all need they need to shut that down on every front. Don't no child at no age or infancy up to what uh we're gonna say twelve. Okay, because then they're going to decide whether they want their Instagram page or not, depending on how they're being raised and what they're uh letting be filled in their vessels, okay. No, babies, stop doing that. Shut them Instagram pages down. You don't need no pictures of an Instagram page for people to cuckoo, gaga all over because that's your baby. They ain't our baby. You know what I'm saying? That is not our baby. We don't put nothing into raising that baby. We don't take nothing away. But, you know, the ones that do reach out and, 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 and do ungodly things in their minds or want to do to your children that you don't put on social media, I, I, I got the call flag on play. I got to blame the parents first. I ain't going to blame the pedophile because they who they are. They don't show you who they are, meaning protect yourself from them and your family. But I'm blaming the parents because you got no reason doing that, putting pictures up there like that. OK, that should be a crime in itself. But that's another whole video for another whole conversation. OK, getting back to this, it says um, uh, the Brooklyn Daily, the Clip show baby Brooklyn playing with drums as she smiled up a storm. Mark could be seemingly heard in the background. I mean, sorry, more could be seemingly heard in the background of the video chuckling as her daughter beamed to the song Roll, Roll, Roll Your Boat. Okay. Uh, the few, the post read future musician baby Brooklyn and racked up over 81,000 views. Now you tell me who is profiting off of these views? Seem like to me Kenya. Okay. And so 
when Mark made that little statement of her being in attention, I can get where he coming from. And he's going to use all this footage that he can because he's going to hire people. His lawyer going to hire people and they're going to recycle because he's giving that little blanket threat for all the bloggers, all the news teams out there that want to you know, put out these salacious stories to just keep him in the media when he didn't want to be in the media and he's going to take proper action. No, what he's saying to Kenya Moore, but she ain't listening. She ain't seeing and she ain't listening. Okay. He going to use this against her in the court of law. He's going to put up all these images of she plastering their baby girl on social media. And that's not what he wanted for his child. And I'm pretty sure he's going to say, well, before we got married, I told her I didn't want no parts of that life. And circumstantially, we're going to uh, pretty much be swayed in his favor because that's why Kenya had to get off the show because he was very adamant. At least she said he was very adamant that he didn't want no parts of the show. He didn't want his life put on blast like that. He's a very private individual. That's her get up. That's her stilo. But if she come marry me, we're going to have to have some major changes. Okay. She's going to have to find some things to do behind the scenes, like produce, write, or, you know, do film and stuff of that nature. Okay. But not this, uh, ratchet stuff going out here putting people's lives on blast when they didn't ask for it because you're going to have the paparazzi out there you're going to have the fact finders the people digging up all the dirt that he probably didn't want nobody to know about and he has every right nobody really got no right to go in and find out a person's whole life and when they were born up to where they are now and what infractions they may have had or did in the past no, we dealing with well, me per se. I'm only dealing with you giving me in social media. When you put stuff out there, you plastic it yourself. And then I got an opinion about it. But no, I'm not going back there. I'm not digging up. I'm not paying a select fee to pull your credit history, to pull your record. No, that ain't none of my business. Because like I say, everybody got a pass. I have a pass too. It ain't salacious. It's kind of quite boring, but it just is what it is. Everybody have financial trouble. Everybody, uh, you, this is a a, 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 a a huge gamut of things people go through. And that's called uh, birthing pains. That's called growing up, experiencing, learning from your mistakes. But, you know, like I said, some people take it to another whole level and be on top with it and don't want to answer to no one. And that's a, that's a sad uh, state of events. I ain't even a part of that. OK, so I'm just saying, can you slow your roll? Hold the horse. How they say hold your mule? Hold your mule, can you? Because you're getting too far gone. This man Arbor done said it. You think he coming after us. Uh-uh. He coming after you. You the one that got the money. You the one that he knows all the finances about. And he done forewarned you and told you, stop putting him uh, out there and stop putting baby girl out there. But yet, you, you, ain't, you ain't listening to him. You ain't listening to him. All this stuff gonna come back to you in a court of law. Watch my word. But anyway, we're going to go back to the uh, article. It said several fans showed the post with compliments gushing over the infant's cuteness while others expressed who devastated, who's devastated that uh, more and daily recent separation. I'm broken hearted. Your parents are splitting. One fan commented, may God watch you always. Okay, now that's, it's somewhat a twisted two-edged uh, two sword this woman is giving who made this comment. Because I'm like, no, nah, you need to pray for baby Brooklyn to survive both her parents and their antics. Okay, uh, they're going to be fine. Divorce has been out there just as long as marriage has been out there. But in these days... Divorce is running rapidly because people are not being patient. People want to still do what they want to do as if they were living a single life. And so I wish they could split up the statistics of the ones who really tried versus the ones who are like, I don't want you no more. This is boring. I don't want to be mad. You know, those kind of different statistics. And you fall between the two or the three or the four, depending on the category. But it's most people that are grounded, rooted in their spirituality, and they know that marriage is a good institution to be in. And don't open the door up for all these different avenues where we can be swingers or, or we can, I can let you do what you want to do a month and I can do what I want to do. Nah, that, that, that's in a satanic realm. That ain't nothing godly about that. Okay, but that's another whole video. Let's get back to this particular uh, subject. Another poster wrote on a separate post, another person wrote, and now the marriage is ending only a few days later. Shaking my head, fake. It amazes me the links celebrities uh, would go through. Now that's me. I'm on that team. I, I, I'm on that train. I'm on that plane. And and, and we, uh, what do you call it? Garnering. But that's the way I feel. Y'all know how I feel about that. 
I don't care. All right. Just like I let y'all speak y'all mind and y'all like y'all have y'all opinions. We're going to agree to disagree. Okay. Another one said, uh, comment on her page says she is just so cute. I hope y'all work it out for a family. Okay. Uh, more and Dayla announced on Friday, September 20th, they were getting a divorce, uh, says after appearing on the Tamara Hall show with their daughter. The reason for the end of the Real Housewives of Atlanta stars marriage seemed to stem from an incident at a gala hosted by Dayla, which more noted would be filmed for TV. Again, see what I'm saying? Salacious stories. Can you love them? She thinks that's going to put her out there. And, you know, it's a double-edged sword with her. Some people, she got a lot of following, and then she got a lot of people that disagree with what she's doing. And, of course, uh, me and Mark are on the disagreeing side, only because I'm siding with him on this particular video because he's right. If you want all that that uh, press, 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 you want to be seen, you want to be hated, loved, or favorite, I, I, I don't know how the pendulum will swing in your favor. That's you. But don't put baby girl up in it. Don't put me up in it. Okay? A house that's divided will never stand. That's biblical. Okay? Get into it. Uh, going back, it says, according to a source, an explosive fight between the dailies may have been the icing on the cake. Kenya Moore lashed out at her husband, Mark Daly, at the Wimbush house. That's a historical uh, vintage home. Um here in Atlanta, and they book that house out for different events. It could be political events, it could be marriages or weddings, it could be baby showers, anything. You know, it's just a, a grand little house that you have some history uh, on, and you can learn the history of the house and how long it's been here in Georgia and where it derived from. And they just use it. It's a beautiful home uh, that they use out for events. Okay, so I just educated y'all on the Winbush house. All right, um, tonight, okay. Tuesday night at a charity event for Black Man Lab that Mark was hosting. The inside of the boats to Atlanta Black Star Thursday, she was aggressive and in his face and threatened to physically assault him and destroy his reputation. See, again, that's that bad side that I've been talking about, Kenya, that she's displaying all these antics that she's doing. He's going to uh, gather them up and he's going to show paint Kenya in a, a very degrading, demoral picture. OK, he's going to say she, she's not a good fit. He, she don't know how to control her anger. Okay, Kenya, get into this. Okay, her followers, go on and tab Kenya. Get on her Instagram page. Swoom her um her Instagram page, her Twitter, and let her know. Back off. Sit and be in silence. Okay, she got the Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, season coming up. And we could show she could be doing all that, making out the buzz press on how she acted, how the cast act. Do, do that, okay? But she needs to pump her brakes and be silent for a while to see how Mark her soon-to-be ex-husband is moving and them attorney streets over there. Okay, but anyway, it goes back and say both individuals released separate statements, uh, although there were a few conflicting remarks. Uh, neither have spoken out following the news of their divorce. Now, see, that's what I'm saying, Kenya. And, you know, like a lot of a few people that I read said, you know, he definitely cheated on her. He he He's, you know, a down-low brother. Um, Kenya was paying a lot of his bills and whatnot, and got him out of debt. Then he started, you know, this cheating rumor had came about. I don't know about all of that. I don't think I can say I could just pass it on to you all what I heard. All of this is allegedly, but I can speak from facts. The man don't want to be impressed. He don't want to be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and if Kenya don't want y'all, he's going to have sole custody of baby Brooklyn. And I don't want to hear nobody with no tears coming around saying, oh, poor King, why he had to do her that way? No, look at it from his perspective. The media could be very cruel, devastating for some people that's not thick-skinned and not ready to fight and know how to fight people out there. Because you're going to have some people that love you. You're going to have some people that act like they love you. And then you're going to have your haters, okay? And you got to be on the, have a whole arm of God on you. And no, you didn't really do anything. You didn't really say anything, but maybe spoke your mind on some issues. But plastering... You know, because that ain't your soul, baby. You got his sperm. You got that DNA from him. So you can't say, oh, I'm going to have her in this or I'm going to have her in that at her little tender age. No, 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 no. No, ma'am. And I'm going to even, uh, uh, we call it, flag myself. I'm not going to post uh, baby Brooklyn's pictures no more. Even if I want to talk about them being a united family, you ain't going to see from this day forward no pictures of her because it's not right. It's not right to use her you know, in this debacle of a marriage, even when it's in good times, I'm not going to use her because we shouldn't be using her, 
a picture. You see what I'm saying? We should, okay, because that's giving other people to do other things that they want to do uh, with her picture. So, I, you know, like I said, I... I, 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 look at him. You see, I'm stuttering over myself because I'm very passionate about this video. And I don't want to see Kenya lose her baby. If they want to have joint custody, so be. At least we'll know six months. We ain't going to see baby Brooklyn on the uh, airways. No pictures. No, no, no nothing. Cause Mark ain't going to have it. It's like, that's his girl. He want to raise her decently. He want to have some rules, some foundation for her, some morals and all that good stuff. And he don't want it. And I, I agree with him. I had to side with him. But Kenya wanted to just do the opposite. And, you know, some people have told me, what well, you know, did Kenya more mama do this to her? And that's why maybe they uh, took her from her mother or, um, you know, just some disagreements of how she was raising Kenya came into play. Well, we need to be talking about the daddy because he the one married Kenya mama. We need to be looking him up. I ain't going to look him up, but just that's a thought for these bloggers that like to pay people to get their interviews and stuff. But then, you know, like I said, it's not really worth the effort. Not really. But Kenya, you need to seek counseling. You need to sit your ass down somewhere and think this thing through. And I'm coming to you from another mama. I mean, I'm not a mom. I'm coming to you as a mother that knows how things can be used against you. And you're giving them all the information, all the material, all the footage for them to uh, degrade you and post you, print you out as a non-fit mother because of your actions, because of your steady posting pictures of baby Brooklyn. OK, get it into your head. Get it. Got it. Good. Do better. Can you do better? All right. That's all I got for this interview of myself, giving y'all my commentary. And I thank you for all the people that are coming in my comments, giving me thoughts to think about doing really, really critical thinking, logical reasoning and giving me another perspective. I appreciate y'all. And I'm coming back with another video and I'm going to uh, shout those people out. See, those are the kind that I like in my comment section. Not the ones that want to come in there, call me everything but the child of God, and, and cuss me out and then leave. No, you you people like that. Don't come in my comment section. Don't say nothing. If you can't be constructive, giving me constructive feedback and criticism with logic and reasoning, don't post nothing. Now, the ones that want to come in and, you know, uh, say good video this day, I welcome. I really welcome all, you all, but I will not put up with that kind of uh, mess, okay? Because I don't give it out. I ain't going to receive it, okay? Now, that's all I had. That's all I wanted to say. Peace and blessings to you all. And you know I'm going to come back with another salacious story. But in parting, always subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. And, you know, I don't want Kenya to be saying this sad song that uh, Diana Ross was singing to Marvin Gaye after he passed along because he really cared and loved himself some, uh, what was her name? Tammy Terrell. But it was like, ooh, ooh, ooh I'm missing you. Tell me why the road turns. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm missing you. Tell me why the road turns. I used to wonder, I didn't understand Just where you were trying to go, oh, you knew the plan I tried to be there, but you wouldn't let me in But now you're gone away, boy I feel so broken hearted Oh, I knew the day we started That we were meant to be If only you let me and I cried so many tears, oh, I kept in all my fears. You let time slip away, I need you, boy, here to stay. Okay, I went to say that throughout my song. I'm like, girl, you're going to be missing Brooklyn. Yes, you are going to be missing Brooklyn. You keep on down this road. You keep on doing what you want to do. You keep on putting her out in the press. Press, press, press. Baby Brooklyn don't need no more press, okay? You're going to find yourself without your child 12 months out the year as it rolls on. You're going to be making visitation rights, probably going to be supervised if you don't stop this mess, Kenya. So this is my plea to you to stop, 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 put the brakes, 
on hold, get change cars, change vehicles, and get right. Put yourself on social media. We we good we good to go. We want team twirl, 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 and do all her antics on TV, not in real life, okay? But pump the brakes. Take um what's it called baby girl off them sites. Close down her Instagram account. Uh, I mean, if you really wanted her to do something, that was, I'm sure that in as far as commercials and advertisement, talk with Mark about it. He may see it. He may be looking at it as a funding for her to have her college already paid for by the time it's time for her to even think about going to college or be very well solidified in the financial department. She can start her own business of her choosing. OK, because we can do careers all day. For our children and the wants and desires that we have for them. But they may totally differ from what they want. Okay. Peace and blessings. I'll talk to y'all next video. 